In the 1970s, it became harder and harder for many people to afford housing. In the year 1975, nearly 10,000 people were put on the streets as a result of evictions in Washington, D.C. In the face of freezing temperatures, growing numbers of people found protection sleeping on downtown steam grates. Others died on the streets from exposure. These deaths prompted a group known as the Community for Creative Nonviolence to begin a campaign to secure a shelter for those living on the streets. After years of protests, highlighted by Mitch Snyder's 56-day hunger strike, in 1986, the federal government finally agreed to turn over a vacant downtown building to the city of Washington, D.C. The expectation was that this building would be used as a shelter for 30 years. Since that time, the federal city shelter has housed over 1,300 men and women every night a few short blocks from the Capitol building. Today, we are approaching the 30-year mark for the shelter. Conversations are underway in City Hall discussing future prospects for developing the site. Little effort, however, has been made to document the perspectives of those who currently live in the facility. In this research lab, we'll work with a group of shelter residents to document their experiences with the building. Using digital audio equipment, we will conduct oral histories, ask the people who live in the shelter what they think is the best way to move forward. Using this material, we'll craft a sound documentary that can be used by the residents of the shelter to mobilize towards a future they envision.